Hey guys, welcome to Atari's 37. Day is very blessed. I picked this up today. I'm reviewing it. It's the Kong uh, from Kong Skull Island. So, really cool. This is in the style of the packaging for the other Godzilla figures. It actually comes in a wave with them. And, you know, it's definitely released to get people pumped for uh, Kong vs. Zilla coming out later this year. It's not directly based on those movies, but it is based on uh, Kong Skull Island, which is the same Kong. You know, it's going to be in the same universe. So, it really kind of is. So, um, I saw this on the internet uh, about a couple months ago, or not months ago, but, you know, a little while back. And... It just got me really excited because we've seen a lot of Godzilla action figures in this scale, but we haven't seen a Kong yet in this scale. So it's part of that line and it's pretty cool. I really like the packaging. You got Skull Island on the background. You got Kong in black and white there. You got Kong Skull Island. Uh, you have Playmates toys. Now Bandai released the first wave, I believe, but these are really similar. I don't know if maybe like they got the rights or something, or maybe like uh, Playmates is just distributing these, and maybe they're still made by Bandai. I'm not really sure. I just know it looks really similar. I don't know a lot about this toy line, but I think it's really cool. And on the back here, we have Kong fighting uh, one of the creatures from the movie, and uh, it has a bio for him, and just very cool, very neat. Uh, it's got Playmates toys. It's got all the little uh, things there. UPC and yeah, let's open this up. So here we have Kong, and as you can see, he looks very cool. I would definitely say he's around five, maybe six inches tall. Very neat. I really like the face. This thing looks good. He's got red eyes there, which are pretty cool. Well, kind of more of like orangish red. I can see the pupils, which is pretty neat. <clears throat> and then I like his beard type look here with his kind of how the fur is. It looks good. Looks very nice. I like how it's different shades too. You know, you can kind of see where the shades, where it turns over. You got the ears nose this looks really good and then moving down you got the free claw marks there i think that's pretty cool accurate to what we saw in the movie and then again the shading is nice because it doesn't just like stay one solid color you can really see where it moves over and i think that's cool and it does that a little bit too on the arms and stuff in some areas and uh i really like the mold detail put a lot of detail onto the fur on his arms i think that's pretty neat and then on his fist too they look pretty good there and um yeah just all the way around they did a really good job with the sculpt i like the back too you can kind of see just where it really looks like hair it looks pretty neat and the feet uh pretty cool there you got some legal information the toes look good and again i like how the shading how you know it doesn't really just like cut off i like how it kind of blends in together and then again like with the knees and everything i really like the detail on his uh hair and fur now in terms of articulation uh let's see going to attempt we got a 360 whoa, at the head uh you can look up and down i believe it's on a ball joint you got 360 at the arms and uh they don't really come out but they do look good and then the legs come forwards they kind of got one of those 360 joints and then the feet move and turn around there's not a lot of articulation uh but you know i don't really mind it i think he looks pretty cool for what he is i do like it i like that they made a kong that's in scale with the other uh godzilla figures so that's pretty cool i mean obviously this is going to be one of the best movies of the year the fight scene alone i'm i'm really excited for it so i think that's pretty cool and while this is not directly you know made to tie in or not really directly made for that movie it is made to tie in and i think that's pretty cool and um yeah thanks for watching please rate like and subscribe